What's up, my beautiful FFL squad? It's your girl, Queen. See me back on your screen. Can you see me? Can you see your girl now? How about now? Cool, that's what's up. Hope you guys are doing good, feeling good. Did you calm down a moment and breathe in? Staying you, staying true, and staying prayed up. Glad to be back. Okay, guys, uh, this time I have a breakfast mukbang. Okay, we're going to keep this short and sweet, all right? So this is a breakfast move on with a story time. I'm sorry y'all keep hearing that beep. Okay, I don't know why I won't change that dang on crazy battery. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what your girl have on deck. All right, guys, as y'all can see, clearly here, it is some more vegetarian cage-free eggs, all spruced up with some pica and some cilantro and some, you name it, garlic, some cheese, all that delicious stuff. And um, got some gravy biscuits, honey butter biscuits, okay, with some gravy and all the, the fixings on them as well. And some delicious, lifeless, meatless, crunchy, crunchy bacon. All right, guys. So this is my breakfast, and I'm ready to dig in. Let me say my prayer so I can get it in. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this blessed food we might receive for the nourishment of my body. And I pray for the nourishment. I pray this is not harm my body or make me sick in any way. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray for the less fortunate. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I was all over the place. Okay, guys. So, got the coldest water on deck. Y'all go ahead. The link is in the description. Check it out. Got a lot of great deals. Got a special coldest water bottle. You go over there and see what it is, guys. Got um very unique one, okay? These are good, durable, bacteria, toxin. Free, BPA free, okay? All colors and sizes and a lot of other cool coldest water stuff as well, guys. Okay, so we keep that water on deck. Y'all make sure y'all hit that hydration station and get hydrated, okay? Let's do this, okay? Keep that water flowing in you, okay? You need that. It's going to feel good. This right here is my pineapple OJ, okay? So I got a little bit of that going on. So your girl is ready to dig in. All right, guys, so the story... Uh, this is part two. Let me get y'all a bite of this here butter, honey butter biscuit with this gravy on it. How was that, guys? And let y'all get a crunch of this here bacon. Oh, y'all ate the whole damn thing. Oh, so y'all y'all feeling that here uh, meatless bacon, huh? I want to see what that tastes like. It's crunchy, trust and believe. Now y'all know. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Hot topic. Part two. When uh, my uh, best friend's husband asked me, "What if I I rape you?" And he put he didn't put try in there, but I put that in there. <laughs> I inserted that. But anywho. I had questions about that first part. Like, I would have told the wife. I would have left. I would have this. But you guys got to hear part two. Okay? Okay, true enough, I did end up staying with them again. But hold on. So all that passed, the first part. All that was over when he first asked me, you know, that stupid question. Hold okay. on. So then, some time went by, some years went by, actually. And like I said, I was in the street, guys. So I was going through a lot and dealing with a lot and such and such and such. So then, okay, get some food in. Years down the road, I had done been through a lot more stuff, okay? And I caught up with my friend Virginia again, and she had to move to another place, you know, another apartment. So, me not having somewhere to go and stay, it was very difficult. That's the reason why I ended up staying with her again. She's the only other person I could really trust, guys, being in the street. So, that's why I ended up moving back in with them again. But, hold up, her husband was not there, okay? He wasn't even, 
um, there this time. He was in the service. That's why I went and stayed with them the sec her the sec second time. Okay? Okay, so, but make it interesting, though. It is a twist because he ended up coming home, okay? Yes. After a long while. And I was like, oh, my God. I was already there. No, I didn't go ahead and leave. I'm hoping he doesn't change. Hoping he's better. Maybe he, you know, you're trying to give a person the benefit of a doubt. Okay, so he comes back home. He sees me. No. And after a while, uh, you know, getting comfortable, things, you know, getting back on track, or whatever, just talking and getting, you know, into how things been and all that. You know how you talk and have that conversation. And we was all having a good time again, same stuff, you know, cooking, eating, just fun stuff. We always did that together. Okay. So then all of a sudden, one night, <laughs> mm -hmm, that night came back again. I'm trying to remember how that happened. He came. Then he just asked me. Can he be with me or can he, can we make out? I don't know. I think it happened like that this time. He didn't say about rape or anything. Just, so, anywho, of course, tripped out again. Like the first time. I don't know what his problem is. Why do you keep doing this? This is my best friend. I, you know, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell her. I made it known to him this time. I told him this time I was going to tell her. And I did. I told her, and he, he was tripping and, you know, trying to lie about it. I told her I would never say this to you. You know, he was trying to, he was in denial, you know, you know, he was lying about it. And uh, it's her word. And I'm like, why would I, I know, see, I was in the street, so I don't, I, I didn't know how much she would believe me, but she, she knows she should have. I told her I would never do anything like that to you. You know that. So, anywho, after a good, you know, much more conversation about it and getting into it more, y'all hear that crunch? Mm-hmm. This is life light bacon. I don't know if I'd be saying it backwards. Life, life light or light life? I think it's life light bacon. Life light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So crunchy, so good. And she ended up believing me. We had a deep discussion about it. You know, let her know, girl, I would not come to you about that. I'm not going to break up you and your husband. I'm not trying to do that. I would never do that. I don't care about that. I don't want him and stuff. I don't have no reason to come to you about this. And, you know, I... If I'm coming to you, that means I'm being truthful with you. Best I can. So. She straightened his ass out. <laughs> Use my French, but surely he did, she did. And told him. Oh, real good. So. Guys, I did... Still stay because her, her brother ended up moving in. I'm not going to even lie about it. Because at that time, I, my mind was like, whatever, all over the place. As long as it didn't go down, nothing happened. And I told his, his wife about it. I felt, I felt better. You know what I'm saying? He didn't come at me again. Her brother moved in, and me and her brother started talking. That helped. <laughs> her fine and cute self. Mm, 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 mm. It was a happy ending to this story. I, <laughs> I'm so glad that uh, he didn't come at me again. I ain't going to say he didn't come at me again. Because you know what? One night, <laughs> I was out. <clears throat> at a, uh, I'm not going to make this a part three. Because <laughs> this is quick. I was out at a bar. Me and Gabby. Having a nice time. Yes. 
Y'all already know he showed up. <laughs> he showed up. And I'm looking like, what the hell he doing here? That's so happen. At the same bar we was at. This had been years apart again. Still tried to see. He didn't quite just ask me, but you can tell he was hoping. Maybe we could. But his wife and him, they got divorced anyway. But I didn't want him. Honey, I had other men looking at me. I was so interested. I wasn't even studying him, but that didn't go nowhere. He disappeared. The end. Okay, guys, so that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what y'all think now? <laughs> okay, so that went all well. Nothing happened. He didn't ever, ever put his hands on me. He wasn't going to be able to. He was not going to be able to. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this here show, this Move On show. Hope you guys enjoyed this Move On and story time. Okay, and make sure y'all let everybody know what's going on over here on the Healthiest Queens Vlogs channel. I love you guys so, so, so much. Okay, it is now a wrap, a snap, and a clap, guys. Okay, <laughs> all right, I appreciate each and every last one of you. Uh, thank you to any new subscribers, which I have quite not seen, but it's okay. I think I've got couple of them but anywho <laughs> all right so make sure that you guys like up okay drop a comment below and subscribe guys and share the love okay share the love all right so stay healthy conscious fridge friendly stay true take care of yourself guys be good do something positive you know don't let nobody get to you, distract you, or uh, anything from your goals, okay? Stay unique, stay the original you, stay the best version of you, and keep doing something every day to get to where you want to be, okay? All right, guys, so it's your girl, Queen Team, and I'm signing out, and I love you guys to pieces. Don't forget to turn on post notifications on